Hey guys, Ryan here with Quantum Wellness. Today I want to talk to you about a new product, this, an experimental compound. It's called SLUPP332. It is designed to replicate some of the physiological benefits of exercise, particularly for individuals unable to engage in physical activity due to health constraints. Its mechanism of action <clears throat> is that it functions as an end um, agonist for estrogen-related receptors, specifically targeting the EER alpha, the EE, or sorry, the ERR beta, and the ERR gamma. Again, that is estrogen-related receptors. These receptors play a critical role in regulating metabolic pathways in tissue with high energy demand, such as your skeletal, skeletal muscle, heart, and brain. By activating these receptors, SLU-332 enhances mitochondrial function, increases energy expenditure, and promotes fatty acid oxidation, thereby mimicking the metabolic effects of exercise. So dosing and cycle length as of now, SLU-PP332 remains in the experimental phases primarily tested in animal models. In studies involving mice, the compound was administered at doses of 25 to 50 milligrams per kilogram via <clears throat> injection, typically twice daily over a period uh, ranging from 12 to 28 days. However, these dosing regimens are specific to animal studies and cannot be directly translated to humans. There are no established dosing guidelines or cycle lengths that exist for human use as clinical trials have not been conducted. I am gonna tell you right now what I'm intending to do is I'm going to start with 250 micrograms um, per tablet. It's a tablet, not an injectable. And I intend to do that start with, with once a day. Then I might progress to twice a day and we'll see before and afters. <clears throat> so potential candidates for use while the SLUPP332 is not currently approved for human use, it is intended application is for individuals who are unable to perform physical exercise due to con conditions such as age-related muscle decline, chronic diseases, limiting mobility, muscle atrophy from prolonged inactivity. The compound aims to provide metabolic benefits similar to those of exercise, potentially aiding in weight management and improving metabolic health in these populations. Additionally, anybody who is looking to increase fat loss would also be a person who would be interested in possibly looking at this. Anybody with any metabolic um, conditions would be potential benefit at looking at this particular peptide. Anyone with any mitochondrial conditions would be a potential candidate for this particular product. Some benefits that were observed in animal studies, <clears throat> in preclinical studies with mice, it has demonstrated several promising effects, enhanced muscle endurance, so the mice that were treated with the compound showed improved running capacity on the treadmills, increased energy expenditure, treated mice exhibited higher metabolic rates leading to a reduced fat accumulation, improved insulin sensitivity, the compound contributed to better glucose regulation, suggesting potential benefits for metabolic disorders. Potential side effects. <clears throat> so to date, animal studies have not reported severe side effects associated with the SLUPP 332. However, comprehensive safety profiles are obviously lacking and potential adverse effects in humans remain still unknown. Further research, including human clinical trials, is necessary to assess safety and efficacy. Expected outcomes on a cycle, if future human studies mirror animal research findings, individuals undergoing treatment with the SLUPP332 might appreciate or anticipate increased muscle endurance in um, enhanced metabolic rate, reduction in fat mass, improved insulin sensitivity. However, these outcomes are speculative until validated by human clinical trials. I also think that we'll probably notice an improvement in cognitive function as well, since the brain is the most metabolically active organ in our body. So in conclusion, SLUPP332 represents a promising avenue in exercise mimetic therapy, potentially offering metabolic benefits to those unable to 
to engage in physical activity. Nevertheless, it remains an experimental compound and its use in human is not yet approved. Ongoing research is essentially or is essential to determine its safety, efficacy, and appropriate application in clinical settings. So guys, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you more about it. Otherwise, please see my next 30-day transformation with using the SLUPP3332. Uh, <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Ciao.